Happy Friday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa at Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Morrow with Rave Home Staging. Nice to see you all. Happy, happy Friday. You know what today is. We're doing some painting on furniture. We are painting some furniture. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so um, we decided that we weren't ready for technology glitches today. Yeah. So we're doing this old school. That's all right. Old school's good. <laughs> we're all about old school. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy day. And uh, we really just needed to have things go right. Things have to be simple for us today. Today, today, yeah. Our brains can't handle anything more than that today. So I have these side tables, and I've had these on my staging inventory, and nobody ever wants to pick them because, well, they're dated. They're dated, uh -huh. right? But super cool, like good bones, solid. Yeah, good bones. So I'm gonna put them up here, in there so we kind of get an idea. Uh oh, fine. I gotcha. Ready? That one's loose. Okay. There we go. Okay. Dang it! I thought I tightened them all. Yeah. So that one needs some new screws. Oh boy. I'm gonna tighten it. Some new screws in that one. So anyway, this is what they look like, and it, it is, it's a little bit dated. Um, so we are going to use Bone Rule 47 today. We've got layered linen, which if you saw my um, chair makeover, the one that I did with, yes. the white, with the wash, the layered linen is the color that was the back of those chairs, uh -huh. and it was the color of the wash. So we're gonna do that all over this, and we're gonna lightly, well actually heavily, mm -hmm. um, dry brush the iron legs. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a last minute decision. I was like, oh, let's leave one painted, and then... And I was kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the iron is just as dated. Yeah. So we may end up um, deciding up that it might be a hard, it might be a hard cover, it might be an easy cover. We're gonna start off the light, yeah. and then kind of make a decision as we go. Yeah, we'll and just fly by the seat of our pants, that's what we do. And then we have these great transfers. This is a Prima, and it's Seashore, and we've got two different mm -hmm. transfers. One that is an anchor, and one that is like a pirate ship. Give them a little bit of coastal pizzazz. Yep, and so those are gonna go right in the middle of the table. And we have a little yeah. bit of nautical stripe, I nautical think it's stripe. Five on below 47, chalk yep. paint. And that was the color I did on the octopus table that I just did. And we're gonna do some, just some light blending, not heavy blending, but some light blending to bring some blue in here so it's not just in the trans. Right. Bring a little so, closer. So a little bit of light blending on the top. Alrighty, I'm gonna try to put mine here too. Okay, here's the closer because here we have some screws. Here we go. Yeah. I'm not so wobbly. You're not so wobbly. This one's missing two screws apparently, and I didn't know that before I tried to set it up. It's all right. We are all good. We are all good. So, um, so these are really ready. We're just gonna kind of start getting the towel. Yeah, we're just gonna get this paint open and get rolling. And again, with this paint, very little prep is needed. Um, this isn't a super shiny surface. Actually, there's a. On the top and the inlay. Um, I think it's just stained wood, to be honest. It might be slate, but it's not. Okay. It's definitely not slate. It's wood. Okay. So there's um, not much prep. You just kind of like a vinyl layer to it. It might. It looks like it's been painted over whatever it was to begin with. Right. So it might have been something else, but it it was painted over before we got it. Right. So we are just going to give these a whole new look. Yeah. And and I am going to paint over the iron details yeah. here, and then we'll distress that back. Yep, and make, yeah, give that nice pop of detail. Alrighty, so it's Friday, you guys. What's happening? What's your weekend plans? Anything exciting going on? There's my son. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> right, so, um, so we have a class tomorrow. That's going to be fun. That's going to be uh, some planner boxes. Yes, and more classes to come. I've had folks asking, and we, you know, even if there's something that you guys want a class on that yeah. maybe we haven't thought of let us know we do private classes as well or we can make it a public class give us ideas yeah. Yeah. yeah we have no problem with that and we could even do an online class if somebody wanted that absolutely we could you can you can yeah. order the supplies and i can paint right along with you or somebody in the store can we can be on live with questions whatever you need yes yeah. whatever makes you feel safe still a try time out there and Teresa is moving this weekend hmm. yes she is she's She's having a rough day, people. <laughs> My truck decided to poo poo the bed yesterday. So, apparently, on the way to work, she is. Yes. Uh, 95 and I became quite good friends right in front of the exit of my home. So, uh, that's always fun. I literally wanted to just get out and run home. I was just ready to be done. So, uh, after an estimate of about $3,000 to fix the truck, Guess who's getting a new vehicle? Well, new to me, it's definitely not gonna be new. So, yeah, my mindset is kind of 
in a blur right now. So this is just a nice, fun That's right. We're just going to keep, keep her keep me occupied. Keep me occupied. <laughs> so if y'all know anybody. Folks, folks, look at look thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. So at least you already had the weekend scheduled off. And I did. I had to the weekend and Monday, Tuesday all for moving. So, I mean, what better way? I mean, because otherwise I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. Now you can invest in a, in a U-Haul truck for yourself. I'm trying to think. I would love actually to get a white van and then paint it with all kinds of flowers and stuff. Uh -huh. I, I, like I could a, totally rock a van. What was, what was the, um, the Muppets one? Yes. The... I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. I think that'll be fun. I mean, that way stuff is out of the weather. I can haul stuff, not just to haul it, but I could keep it in there for a little bit if I need to. It was raining. Don't think I won't drive a white van. Oh. I just won't live in one down. <laughs> Somebody caught that reference. <laughs> Miss Anna. I don't so, think yeah. I did. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm Saturday Night Live, something. Chris Farley did a skit where he was an inspirational speaker and he would come in all big and boisterous and you don't want to end up, end up like me, living in a van down by the river. You just, oh. you have to look it up. It's pretty I'm not, I'm not a big SNL watcher. I cannot, uh, and I'm not now, because I'm not real keen on it, but back in the day, I was, I was interested. So yeah, you gotta look that up, because I really did a terrible Chris Farley. Why am I making all the noise, and you're just walking I, around? Um, I'm being lazy. That's all right. I'm just walking. She's got a broken leg. I have a broken leg. That's if true, I, too. If, if I tried to do that, mine would just simply fall over. That is true. We can't have that. So but you yes. can see really good one coat coverage. Yeah, this is a nice color too. I'm I'm not super keen on creams, but this has not got the yellow tones. This has like a nice white, maybe gray tones in it a little. Yeah, and this is like a more of a, a beigey beige. Beige, that's a cream. The yeah, it's more of a Somewhere it's more of a tan, yeah. taupey, taupey, taupey linen-y color. Yeah. Um, that way because the transfer, I'll show it to you. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty blues. So the transfer has this, this sort of linen color with it. And so we wanted to make sure that, that we were working with that. That's so they were not nice clashing. Contrast. And I used to use these, these tables in, in houses that were $25,000 houses. Mm -hmm. They were great nightstands and what have you. Where oh, yeah, yeah too much attention to them we could offset it by most of the other furniture in the room but now we've been a little slower since the beginning of covid mm -hmm. and uh mostly because i don't know how many of you know um attention but with the cares act they they turned off foreclosures the bulk of our customers were flippers um, we're a little slower because our flippers are not flipping because they can't get a hold of the houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, but we have excess inventory and uh, our staff would be real happy to have some of that oh, maybe, sure. <laughs> maybe not in the warehouse. <laughs> so right now I'm pulling out things that I think we can update. I need our selling them or selling them back, but sending them back in ways that will, that will be more Mm, better for today's design ideas. Yeah. And it's smart. It's just, it's refurbishing older stuff. So instead of buying new, you can kind of change this and update it based on the time. Yeah. And I, and I know when I got these, uh, I got, totally they were, in. well, they probably weren't totally in, but they were totally cheap. Uh, Michelle Finamore is back. Everybody say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thanks for watching. And so I'm just doing a little dry brushing. So I'm just dipping my paint in with a chip brush and then wiping most of it off on a rag and then just kind of kind of brushing over and it's a kind of a heavy dry brush but this way i won't have to do as much distressing right and you kind of get an idea of how it's going to look if and we can decide if we want to actually paint the whole thing or distress it but sometimes just like a, a heavy a heavy yeah sometimes a just heavy... a heavy dry brush is yep. good enough that you don't have to to really do the whole thing and i don't know if you saw the iron the wrought iron candlesticks that I did love them. from the thrift hall Wednesday. Love, 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 but love But they them. came out really pretty, and you just wouldn't necessarily think about buying wrought iron and painting over it. Yeah, they came out absolutely stunning. But let's face it, most of that stuff just isn't 
isn't too much in style. It's not desirable now. What do you think, Jake? You're a young whippersnapper, 22. What's your style? He did not have expect to have a put on. Sorry, I was, I was What's your style? You're a 22 year old single dude. Very cute, by the way. If you want to he, is, say hi. he is adorable. Yeah, but see, right now we're moving, like I said. Very bachelor pad esque. Bachelor pad esque. Yeah, just very, you know, manly things. In there. Manly things. Yeah. So we li he's with us right now in the apartment that we're moving from, and when we move into our house, he's going to rent that apartment, which is awesome. So now when we go home he tells us to hurry up and get out of his house because he's paid the rent for July and we're just mere visitors there now uh, the electric's still in your hand. I was gonna say well then I the other day I'm like you know what I'm just gonna turn this uh, air conditioning way up if you're paying for it but actually it doesn't go to effect until Monday so I just screwed myself there but it's all good so bachelor pad esque is your style would, would you consider these end tables something neutral that you would have in your home um, to be no, honest, no. no. All right. Because I just wouldn't have it. I would have something that I could just put together real fast that isn't like super fancy because I'm not like super fancy. Like You're not very fancy, are you? No. You get that from your mom. All right, I got a question about the table. Okay. Yes, what's the question? Teresa, is your table looking pinker than her table? Pink? Pink? Has it got a peachy color to it or is it just me? I think it's just you. I'm thinking it might be you. I don't okay. see it Wait, really. Yeah. Do you no, see? I see it too. Is it because you painted on your layer of paint thicker? Well, I don't think. I don't, that wouldn't really affect the, the color. What do you guys think? Are you seeing cream and cream? Are you seeing pink and cream? What are y'all seeing? I don't see any pink in I don't see pink either. I wonder if it's just because Melissa has a pink shirt and you're looking at it with it and I don't know, crap up. No, because it's yours, so it's definitely pinker. No. Maybe, maybe it's just the light. Maybe my table moves the mood on you and it's just gonna. From here, yours does look a different color. Now, see, I'm see Really? Yeah, from here, it looks a different color. That's what you, weird. What are you guys thinking? What do, you, do you see a difference? Let us know. I'm just curious now. Well, I will say that is one thing with paint in general is that different lighting and different angles mm -hmm. can, especially especially in like tans and grays, for sure. can for sure pass different tones and what's reflected off of it and, and all of that. So. Or even a piece that it's next to, another color, you know? That can definitely make it look like it's something different. One of the complaints I get when I photograph people's houses and they have a different beige on the wall. Yeah. Because some room's going to look different than another room just based on how much sunlight I get in there, how much artificial light I get in there. And the lighting does make a big difference in terms of the colors. That is for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the dry brush thing, Melissa. What do you think? Yeah, I'm liking it too. Yeah, I think that it might be a good solution. And we might still go over with some sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or at least a rag, you know, do a little wet distressing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it needs full on. No, I like, I like a little bit of that, just a little bit of that metal coming through, I think. Yeah. We'll and let's face it, we would have distressed it anyway. Yeah. So we are for sure going to get some metal coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're doing good. But I love just basically painting furniture to update your staging inventory or your home furniture. It's just a smart thing to do. For me, it's almost always about um, staging. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do with my staging inventory? How can right. I save money on my staging? And when I first got started in staging, you know, I wasn't out there buying new. I didn't have the money to do that. I didn't, I didn't start this. Well, one, I didn't start my staging business in mind of being what it is today. I would have, if somebody would have told me that when I started, I would have laughed at them. <laughs> um, I would not have thought that was anywhere close to a possibility. I was and just now look at you, girl. I know. I was just looking at it to have a little bit of extra money, um, a little extra spending, and really something to do with my time because I had been a stay-at-home mom for most of my kid's life, and and I was not content with just cleaning. I do hear a car alarm. It's not mine because I don't have one. Oh, I like this. Yeah. All right, should I get the dryer out to get a little dry on the top, you think, to start? Or yeah, probably. I think I might be okay on the sides. All right, I've got it but over here just as a backup, so I'm gonna plug in and give it a quick judge. But your painting is a little heavier than mine, so maybe that's what they're seeing. That's very possible. Yeah, who's Jake went to go check it out. 
Whose was it? It was a red car. So oh, okay. okay. All right, I'm going to do a red I don't drive red car. You don't drive red car. So no. red car? Nor do I. Okay. All right, so just giving it a quick little bit of a dry so I can put another coat on without pulling up much of my first coat. We're just dressing of the edges and things in this kit. Yeah, we were thinking of a shirt the other day that was like, um, that's good enough. That's if people actually walk, like to enjoy watching our paint dry or something like that. Yeah, yeah, because we're always we're always drawing paint yeah, when you guys are on. Yeah, so I mean. People follow us to watch paint dry. To watch paint dry. But nothing's as cool as we're just sitting around here waxing chickens, man. <laughs> waxing waxing chickens, 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 man. All right, I'm going to need the glasses for the second coat. Oh, okay. I can see better. It's funny how when you throw glasses on, you can see better. I really, I, you know, I'm really getting annoyed with this getting old thing. It's not the most pleasant experience. It really isn't. I don't. And what's bad is my glasses aren't even the greatest anymore. I was downstairs with a, a guest today and <laughs> went to sign something or look at something and I'm like, where are my glasses? And then I looked at her and I went, they're on my face, aren't they? And she's like, yes, ma'am, they are. I'm like, oh, that's the kind of day I've had. Are those your newer ones? No, I got there. I have those here. I know, they just, they're so strong that, I mean, I guess I can look at oh, my yeah. phone and read it, but like the computer, it almost makes it feel like a bad carnival ride, so. I have not. I have not worn them, Jiggy. Bad carnival ride. It does. That's what they feel like. Woo woo woo. Oh, remember that feeling? You have a third pair of my I do? Yeah, and the purple. Oh, that's right. I don't know. I didn't know. Oh, seriously? Oh, thanks, honey. Well, see, I have a problem because, um, like you, I'm short. Uh huh. And when I really need the glasses, also like you, is to read. Yeah. Which is often on the computer. But the computer are always up too high for me, and when yes. I wear bifocals, you're supposed to like you're supposed to look down your nose, right? Yeah. You're supposed to, you know, have them on, and and you know, like if you're reading, it's fine. You look down, but now I have to try to do my computer work like this. Yeah, that's like not pleasant. It's not fun. All right, let's come around the front. So then I come home and I have a stick nap and stick stiff nap. There we go. Yep. Stick neck and you know yeah, it's like maybe I need to figure out how to like lower my monitor or something are you do you, are your glasses um prescription or just look like readers like mine they're prescription okay yeah I actually thought I might just start keeping a pair of readers in my drawer because I need to then, try yours on just to see what how strong yours are like are you blind blind I'm not blind blind but I can't my arms aren't long enough to for me to read anymore yes yeah, <laughs> Same, same. Yeah, when your arms aren't long enough for you to read, it's a problem. Yeah. Hey okay, guys. Gentlemen. Look, the movers are here. The movers are here. There's our main guys. All right, boxes for the class. Hey. Okay, I'm going to move this a little bit. I'm going to left hand paint, people. Woo, I'm living on the edge. Wow, we're pretty good at that. Yeah, it's, I, I find know. that. I find that. I'm somewhat ambidextrous with a uh, wow. painting. I'm accidentally that way too. Look at me go. I'm not even. Oh wait. You're okay. at one with the paint. I'm at one, one. with the paint. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that actually felt good. Yeah, kind of actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna own more often. What are you guys doing? I was in trouble. You're here to do things. Yay! So there's a uh, the white shutter table, dining table downstairs. Mm -hmm. That has sold and it needs to get moved. In fact, they're not going to pick it up till like August. Till like August, they're building a house, so it should be like not blocking other things because it'll be there a while. Mm -hmm. And um, then we got new boxes, new tables, and I want you to assemble one of the tables and put it in its place. There's big boxes on the dock that are marked RHC for that. Um, Is that it? Um, and move anything that's Anna can help you show you what I like. Has I sold those chairs, but there's that table or something to get things that have sold off the floor. Okay. Thank you, Miss Anna. All 
All right, guys, what are you thinking so far? Does my piece still look a different color? I don't know. Maybe it is based on the heavy heaviness of the paint. Maybe, I don't know. Turn the light up a little bit so I can see if it's... Well, see, now when I stand up, they look, they look alike. Okay. So I think the color has just got a little bit of a... A rosy hue? Yeah. Okay. That's great choice. This is why I come home looking like this, Jacob. This is why you wear it. Why I wear it, and this is why everything I own pretty much are paint clothes. Right? I'm still in your brush. And okay. when you, yep, and when you catch up, we're gonna do a little bit of blending on the corners. Okay, all right, just got a little pop here to do, and I'm ready. I should just get you one of those full-on, long-sleeved, long-sleeved suits. <laughs> and then just jump into a little white suit and see how it right. looks. Give it a week, it looks, and then we'll just sell it on eBay. A turtleneck with a crown. I don't know, I've got paint under here from when we did, from when we did pumpkins on Monday. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? I can't, I can't get the... Yeah, I, I find it. I can't get the though. rust off the that you have the iron. iron. It just doesn't want to come off. It'll peel. It feels like glue on your fingers. If that's what it did for me when I took it off. When I found it like three days after the fact. <laughs> Alright. I can't see that. I can't reach that. Alright. I can see you shaking your head, Jacob. I'm gonna shake your head for you. Are you successful? No. Okay. Yes. But no. I'm good. So we don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be dry to put on the next. Okay. So where's our Oh, the glue's over here. Okay. So we're each going to have a fairly okay. clean brush. All right. Do I even have to dry anything? You or? really don't. Okay. Um, so I'm going to miss my surface a little since I've dried some of it. Okay. I'm watching you. And um, I'm, we're going to, oh, I'll kind of turn this and see if this. Ah, woman. That maybe didn't help. Leg down. Leg down. All right. I have a tripod. So we're gonna, I'm going to miss my surface a little bit. While she's misting, let me just remind you that we are using Klingon brushes today. They're our favorite brushes. We saw them online and in the store. Why do we love these? Because they, they clean themselves. That's right. You just rinse them in the water until they come clean, until the water is clear, which if you wash brushes, you know that that, that does, does not, not mean they're, they're clean. clean. Nope. Um, and then you put them, we have a well where you can put them where the brushes are, the tips are in the water, mm -hmm. and it'll actually suck the rest of the paint You can out. watch it come out. You can, it's, it's crazy. crazy. All right, what okay. am I doing? So I've got a little bit of the nautical blue on mine, and I'm gonna just sort of fan it around the edges oh, here. Oh, is that what's happening? Yep, yep. Okay. I'm gonna fan it around the edges here. Are we, are we sure about that? Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Blending is not my. Whoa, we are blending, aren't we? So we're just gonna do these corners, okay? I'm just spray and it right in. now, it's okay that it kind of looks like it's messy. We're gonna fix that. Okay. Okay. So now that I've got some on there, where'd the misty water go? You can't hog it. I accidentally hogged oh. it. Okay, so I'm gonna give it another good mist. And then I'm gonna go back to my brush, my beige brush. Thank you, Miss. And I'm gonna you reach one. and I'm going to pull the beige in and wet. feather this out. I think my other is a little too wet to do that, but we'll see. Ooh, I'm blending. I'm blending. You're blending. I'm blending. Okay. I'm melting. Okay, and we do that, and we can go back with the blue. And sort of do the same thing. Oh, it's a hot mess when you paint, woman. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. I thought I was bad. You were just a colossal hot mess. And That's I, why we get along so well. And I like to just go back and forth until I'm really happy with how it looks. Okay. I'm not so happy, but I'll get there. All right. I gotta put together. Oh, okay. The and sometimes if you help. get too much, like I've got too much blue on my beige, so I'm just gonna wipe it off with my rag, put a little bit more beige. What and I'm gonna, brush that you used to blend them together? The I brush, used or? my, no, I used my, yeah. my beige brush. Gotcha. Okay. I can't have too much blue here. I'm just going to use my rag and wipe some of that off. Okay. Then I'm going to go back with my blue and pull it back out. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. And you just do that until you're basically happy. And I can't move my chair, my table. <laughs> so I'll on the other side. What do you want me to do? That's all right. I'll come around to the other side. All right. Just continue this way for a moment. Right. So we're just kind of doing sort of corner. Yes. Mild. Okay. All right. 
John's giving us weird looks. Don't go. Don't go. Go. Don't go. Go. I have to show you my, I got a play, or a, um, well, it's the size of a placemat because I clearly didn't read the directions when I bought it, but I got a welcome mat for our house. If anybody knows me, they know my favorite band is Journey. And so the welcome mat says, don't stop, be leaving. It's this freaking big. It's like, I can frame it and put it on the wall. That's so it's not really a floor mat, it's more like a mouse pad. It's more like um, like a placemat for your table. Totally yeah, my fault. Yeah, yeah, I get to all the time because I don't Going I don't forward, measurements. anything you order online, run by Jake. <laughs> right. Oh, he'd have loved the actual. I can't believe it didn't. Uh... It should have said the dimensions on there for you. Oh, I'm sure it did. I'm certain it oh, did. I was just. Yeah. I was so excited I mean, to you see, see that. So you see the word. You yeah. see the word dollhouse, and suddenly you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Well, I mean, you see the word, you know, uh, doormat, and you automatically think it's going to be, you know, the size of a normal door. Yeah. It was not. It was for the kitten door or something. Yeah. And it's super cute. Don't stop. Be leaving. Get it? Isn't yeah, that funny? I like that one. I like that too. That Jake is just, long. he's so, start he's so over awesome. me. <laughs> I'm going to give you that as a apartment warming gift. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome, actually. No, I'm going to do it soft. Put it somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Okay, this morning is kind of cool. Yeah. It's going to be a nice contrast, or compliment, rather, to the, uh, the so transfer. The transfer, yeah. Could do that. That's true. And the key kind of is, and it's really hard because we're you know, live, is not to rush it. Yeah. And we kind of want to rush it because you know, you know, you're watching us, and yeah. you don't want to be completely bored. Yeah. I mean, we can have you watch paint dry again, but you guys, you guys, guys do once a week. You do that so much anyway that once a week, three times a week. That's true. Water helps me feel better. All right, you're gonna see the back of my head for a minute. Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how to do this without what you're doing. completely knocking. Okay, I'm okay with that. I don't know. If I want them to see this. <laughs> yes, over there. No. Actually, if you want, she's probably doing it the proper way, and you can get a good detail on it, and that'll give me time to sneak mine and get it right. <laughs> Yeah, you fix yours. We're okay. going to go ahead and get hers. Right. How's that? Okay. Me. I need a little more water because my brush is dragging. And it's okay that it looks like a hot mess at the beginning. It always starts off ugly and gets better. All right. Water helps for sure. Water for sure helps. This is significantly darker than hers. I'm sorry, John. I don't recall asking for peanut gallery comments. My job. Mm, you're very, very good at it. I know. I, okay, I, I two think I'm. Two things: giving you grief and telling my wife how much I love her. Uh, <laughs> that's his suck up for the moment. Whatever, dude. It is. Look at him, and then he takes off. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and then, so I'm gonna come over here where these are starting to meet up. Oh, see, yours looks really good. And I'm gonna sort of fan them together. All right, that's kind of what I was doing here too, I think. I think that's what's happening. Oh, I got too much blue going. I'm just gonna pull some of that off my rag. And you'll kind of need to alternate between pulling and dragging until you like what you get. But again, the key here is to, to just kind of take your time and do it slow. Okay. Use lots of water so there's no dragging. Okay. And blend them nicely together. See how that goes? Now I can see here I've got, I missed some area, so I'm just going to fix that up a little bit. This is going to look so pretty with the transfer. I mean, they do look coastal. You see how that's working? You like it? That is pretty. All right. I'm getting it. Do something here. So you can see me do the next section. inside the box for the most part painter that I just get it's, it's, it's got a 
to look a certain way. Well, sometimes you get in your head a little too much. I do. I absolutely do. Teresa is very much a, a traditional thinker. Yeah, for sure. If that's the word I want. I would agree with that. Where did you go with that? Thing? Don't make me chase you. I know. It just takes the blue and runs away. Don't make me chase you. Dude, I was yelling at you for hogging. <laughs> now I'm hogging. I felt like that was a payback. Whatever. Not on purpose. Just. Right. We're not going to break any more legs, people. I know. I'm trying to be careful here. Well, mine seems to be missing some bolts. So, see, I'm just going to go fan kind of right into these areas. And where I've gotten over here and I've gotten too much white there, I'll just go back with my glue in a moment and clear that up. Right, so you just go back and forth okay. with your brushes, blending, lots of water, and you don't want it to get too sloppy, but go back and you can blend this way. Okay. See? Yeah, I think I'm a little light in the blending. Do you have any comments, Gonsu? Nothing. Nothing? Everybody's being quiet? Oh, everybody's quiet today. Speak up, people. You can tell me. You can tell me that I am a non-blending person. I'm chasing you all the way around the table. I don't see Connie on here yet today. Oh, oh where is it today? I think, unfortunately, she had a medical appointment oh, today. I do recall today? it. That's right. That's today. Send in you love and hugs, Miss Connie. We're thinking about you, Connie. Love ya. Thinking of you. Yeah. She's such a sweet lady. She's so talented. All right. More of the subtle blue. All right. You need to pick up some blue on here, sir. I guess. All right. Right. Oh, I missed some over here too. Okay. So, what do you guys think? Does mine look blended enough? I hope so. Yes. Because it always looks perfect when you do stuff. This <laughs> looks like a fountain pen blew up on it. Huh? Wait, who's does? Who's does? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> no. I think that was directed at me. I, I, I think that was a backhanded compliment or something. I can't keep track of my stuff. I, I feel like it at me. If there was shade, it was at me. Shade. I'm going to grab one of these brushes because you don't have um, one out here. I'm going to give mine some dry time. And then I'm going to go at it with one coat of uh, Thereof. 
Now this is, that's right, this is all bungalows. So this is the stuff you actually really like bungalows. There's Bonnie. There she is. Hi, Bonnie. How are you feeling? We do have a lot of paint on here. I know. It's very comfortable. I got a lot of it on me. That could be why. I still have that scar from this thing. These are no joke. They hurt. Teresa's piece of kind of, she had a little paint going on there. So I, I just went over with the brush, how to pull some of it off, and then I've been putting it on a rag. Um, I think she just has an overabundance of paint. That was a little aggressive. She's a little aggressive with the paint. She likes this one too. I do. I think, I think I zhuzhed when I should have zhuzhed. She zhuzhed when she should have zhuzhed? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back with some of the nautical stripe. I'm going to hit these corners. Alright, I think we're at a point where we'll top coat. I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a brush or a um, sponge to top okay. coat. I feel like this is an easy. Alright. Thanks for saving my stuff. I felt, it, it did feel way painty. Oh, it's sweet Jesus. There she goes with that brush again. Am I flicking the paint? She's a crazy woman. Paint off. Give her, put a brush in her hand. She's going to fling paint at you. It's going to happen. That's all right. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, I take back everything I just said. Because I am wearing top coat now. You know, if you're going to paint me, I'm going to top coat it. Yeah, I mean. It needs a top coat. things here. here we go. Right. And I am just going to use a sponge to apply this um, matte finish my glow 47 top coat. It just I'm not the greatest at top coating and when I brush it it tends to leave the brush marks. So a little secret, little pro tip, use a sponge. It's fantastic. And it's easy and quick. I've never tried it. We're gonna have to try it. Yep. It's super easy. But not so easy that I don't need my glasses. Ah, does it wash out of the sponge really well? It yes, does. It does. Mm -hmm. right. so you gotta do it right so, away. Yeah, you gotta do it right away. And it washes out really nice, so then you are not left with um, crusty, crunchy sponge. sponges. Yeah. I, just eat, I use regular just dish soap, like Dawn dish soap, and just keep squishing it with the soap and the hot water and squishing it until the crud's out. Very super easy and cool. We sell those sponges here, don't we? We do. Um, we certainly do. Dixie Sweet. Belle has the sponge. Yeah, it's blue and it's like a two layer, but yes, it's uh -huh. basically the same. So you can see that I've only been adding blue, but there's still a lot of cream under here, the layered linen. So it's just an over kind of abundance of paint. So I'm trying to oh, wait, nope. really, I'm trying to really, yeah, don't, don't, I, don't swirl that one. I stopped myself. Um, so I'm trying to add the blue and not really add any of the layered linen right now. I might dry this and try to go back in with a little bit, but mostly I'm just trying to feather this out with what she's already got, because. I got a lot. She got a lot. I did. Oh, I am inadvertently distressing the crap out of this, and it looks okay. kind of cool. Well, I was gonna distress it anyway. We were gonna do that anyway, I hope, because, oh, cause yeah, that's, I always distress. that's pretty distressed. That's pretty. I need to swap the camera around. I, it, well, let me come on that side when I get this done where you can see the distressing happen. Yeah, it's like literally, that's pretty cool though. Yeah, it's really because it hasn't sat for very long. Yeah, I'm trying to be easy so it's minimal. Sometimes when you're painting and it's really rough, you do pull off. And I kind of like that because I like to wet distress. And it's just, it's
it's an organic distress. It just it kind is. of comes off where it wants to. Connie is asking if you are just doing corner blending. I am just doing corner blending. I'm kind of right here trying to take over Teresa's piece. Um, she kind of went crazy with the paint. Crazy, little crazy. <laughs> so I'm trying to kind of get it to match mine a little bit better. But they look the same so that if, you know, somebody both at the same time, which is theoretically what kind of what matching end tables be. usually are. Um, you know, when it's when it's hand done, it hasn't had to be exactly the same, but it should kind of look like they belong together. Yes, for sure. Yours is so pretty. So, and this is just sort of a rough blend. It's not meant to be super plain. These were using the using some transfers, the seaside transfers mm -hmm. from Prima, and they're very rustic looking. I'll say so. We want yeah. this to be a natural sort of enhancement. This is just the natural distress that came through on this. So here, That's just from the paint easy. not quite drying, and then me putting a top coat on, and I'm just literally just pulling a little bit. So and I'm if you don't want coat. that, one a brush would probably eliminate that because mm -hmm. she's got drag with the sponge. Mm -hmm. And two, um, if you were to let these actually dry on their own, what we did of uh, forcing, right, forcing it wet. Right, exactly. So, I don't know, kind of, I thought that was a happy Yeah, accident. no, I like it. Yeah. Can I have a quick question, though, for your next step? You yes, the, yes. The transfers? Yes. Mm -hmm. You want me to bring that little blue table in here so you can drop it down a little shorter? Drop it down. What do you think? Um, I think we can just actually okay, tilt it and we'll right. be okay. And you definitely want, while well, this paint you need a top coat anyway because it's chalk paint, but especially for underneath a stencil or a transfer, a transfer. rather, it's just it's going to give it that pull-up paint. Or the smoother the surface when you're doing a transfer, the yeah. easier your transfer transfers. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like they're super easy on glass, and they're fun to do on them. Chalk paint definitely don't go for transfer. Oh, yeah. And milk paint is like the kiss of death if you do not if yeah. you do not um, do if you do not put a top coat first. For sure. Okay, so can you see where I've kind of pulled a lot of Teresa's paint off and, and made it a little bit more? It looks like it needs to go a little darker. What? Your blue. Yeah, uh, it might, but I'm going to have to let some of this dry. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. I'm going to get the brush, or rather the hot gun, and give this one a quick dry so we can get a transfer on it. cabinet is awesome. So Watch, I'm going to lift this up and you're going to see a green cabinet on the wall. And, and it turns out it wasn't a mouse oh, cabinet. Okay, you can see Lily, but it's behind Lily up against that's, the wall. Lily. <laughs> it came out really good. I'll get pictures for you. Again, that we're going to use this 
here. It's been stuffed. And it should fit. Right. So, can you adjust the camera? Down the middle. Where do you need to go to? I think you're going to show yourself. That is just going to fit. I'm going to get a little part here. I'm a little stiff. And you want to be really careful. With, uh, I think that's good. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Right. You want to be really careful with these because they come on a piece of almost like wax paper. So once you take that off, then your transfer is just kind of free flowing. And if it touches itself, there's no transfer. So I'm just going to look first and see where this is going to go. There we go. Take this off and hope I don't. Hmm. Let's do this. So, I just don't want it to roll up on itself. Would you mind holding the bottle on my desk and I'll just. And I'll take it off of this and let's just hold it taut so but it doesn't... Put it, start putting it on now so that it's not all the way off. If it sticks in it, uh, uh, you'll kill me. relatively easy because of the nice top coat underneath and we'll do what we call ride the wave as we're doing it you just kind of pull down as you're as you're pushing it off with the stick here I don't know if that's the proper term but that's what we call it all right ride that way I'm gonna go ahead and give it some today. We did. So these should be fully stocked with just about every color. Um, so if you need any like casement, things like that, I know that's supposed to be an outline. Yep, there was 10 or 12 casements in there. Some raw silk. Yes, we are full of all the nice pretty fusion neutrals. People have been waiting so long. I know. Yeah. It. So if you need them, they are here. And Get don't forget, up. we have implemented a loyalty program for all of our DIY products. So if you buy 10 of a combination of any DIY product, whether it be a stencil, a transfer, a paintbrush, paint, on your 10th purchase, you get a free pint of paint of your color and your choice of, uh, of brand name that we sell, obviously. So that's kind of a cool thing. Oh, kind. Yes, we like to be nice. All right, let's see what happens here. See how nice that comes off? Yes. Oh, Lucky. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing. Just look how cool. All right, here we go. And it just gives a piece. It looks like it's got a little bit of just hand-painted funk to it. I'm just rolling with it, people. I feel like it's on there. Roll it, roll it, roll it. I'm doing it. Oh, okay, I'm doing it. Home stretch. Oh, boy. I'm not even, look at me. I'm not even using my stick. Look. Bye, stick. I'm done. I'm done with you, stick. Dun, da, da, da. And at this point, what you want to do is what they call burnish it. And that just simply means get a paper towel or a rag or something to just kind of ball up and just kind of give it a once over to make sure it's completely adhered to the piece. You'll hear like little crackly sounds in there. That's just the air bubbles releasing from underneath and getting it completely attached. That's what that looks like. And these, 
are a little easier to apply because they're just kind of one solid sheet versus maybe some of the flowers, which always give me grief, but they always, eventually they always go on nice. It's always the words that are the hardest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they're really little. And every little There's, teeny. Every little teeny thing has. Yeah. This is cute. Yep, you can hear that little crackling. So that's just getting all down in there and getting everything stuck. I don't hear any more cracklies. Let's do a zoom, Miss Sue. What do you, oh, I guess you're zoomed pretty good. I don't want to move the table. So what do you guys think? Well, I guess I can move it. Here, I'll zoom in. Don't okay. move. And then we'll go we close. Would, we'll put a top coat over that just to keep that sealed down and nice. And I mean, these go on so nice. You can't feel where the paint stopped and where the transfer started. It really it's looks just good. an all nice blend. You like Cute. it. I like it. And we'll do a little distressing more, maybe in the corners here a little bit. A little bit in here. Let's see where's Melissa at? Melissa is making mine beautiful and making it look just like Yeah, I think yours. I was pretty close to that one now. I do too. I so, do too. Um, really I just needed to get a lot of the wetness off of here mm -hmm. and then bring come back some of the, the blue. Um, the, it had just gotten so wet mm -hmm. that it, it was becoming cold. muddy. Yeah. So we needed to get rid of the wetness, get most of the ex excess paint off, and then go back with the blue and blend it. And I did end up having to come back with a little bit of the layered linen in the center, just to give me a clearer center. Mm -hmm. But I think we're all nicely blended now all the way around. So this needs to dry and then a top coat. But what time is it? Uh, we've done 51 minutes so far. 51 minutes. So probably aren't going to show you both tables completed because I really this had so much paint on it. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think that it's going to dry um, in time. But we'll get you pictures of both. But you get a really good, mm -hmm. um, clear idea of what the tables look like before Absolutely. and after. What do you think was this a good project? And they're super updated now. They're for the for the area that we live, the coastal look. Absolutely. I mean, they're just. I think they're great. I mean, you'd never know what they used to be. Yeah, so I think they definitely are much more updated at this point. I agree, and all of the products we used here today, you can get right here at Rave Home Collection, or you can get them on our website, ravehomecollection.com. You can come in and get them. You can buy them over the phone. Yep. We'll ship them, whatever you think, whatever you need. And if you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to hit subscribe and then click the bell so that you're notified every time we do a new DIY. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching us on Facebook and you haven't followed us on YouTube yet, you haven't subscribed to the channel, there are videos that we are doing on YouTube that you are not going to get on Facebook. That's right. We so, special. so be sure to click subscribe. Sue, you got something? Connie, there? Connie says, "Be beautiful, darlings." Oh, thank, well, you, thank you, Miss Connie. Connie. That's thank very you. sweet. All right, well, we are going to uh, head on out. I have my 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 son standing here behind, waiting for more direction on the floor. And my son's just standing there, just standing there. Anyway. So sitting, just sitting there. That's true. <laughs> so we're going to get back to work here at the store. Yes, and thanks for joining us. Thank you for your support, y'all. Have a great, Bye. great See weekend. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Peace out.